Now we're going to talk about finding y-intercepts. It says use the graph of the function x squared minus 4x plus 4 to approximate its y-intercept. Then find the y-intercept algebraically. Well, it appears that here would be an x-intercept, and this would be the y-intercept. Now, is, this is the y-intercept. We know this comes from a coordinate point 0, comma, since it's up 4 units, it would be 0, comma, 4, which means the y-value is 4. Now, how do I find that algebraically? Well, I would put plug in the thing that's known here. If I wanted the y-intercept, I know the x-value has to be 0. So here's how you would solve that. You'd plug in, you'd say f of 0 will find your y-intercept. So 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 4. Well, this 0 squared is 0, so it's gone. Negative 4 times 0 is 0, so it's gone. So the answer is 4. 4 is my y-intercept. All right. Now we did it visually, and we also did it by uh, algebraically. Now let's look at this function to determine uh, its approximate y-intercept. Again, we'll find it algebraically second. So I first look, and I see here's the y-intercept. This is where it crosses the y-intercept. That value is 0, 1. Now if I want to do this algebraically, I would type in the x value of 0. So let's say that g of 0 will equal the absolute value of 0 plus 2 close the absolute value, minus 3. As I go through to solve this, I would get that I have 0 plus 2 is the absolute value of 2, minus 3. The absolute value of 2 just means make it positive. It's like distance. So that since it's already positive, it just stays, and it's just 2 minus 3, which 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So that is my y-intercept there. Now it's your turn to try one.